Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a few keto ice creams. So we have these two ice creams. One Killer Creamery and the other is Enlightened. So let's get into the review. <music> So this ice cream is Killer Creamery's ice cream, Peanut Blubber. It has two net calories per serving. One serving is going to be a half a cup. Um, so with this ice cream, it is keto friendly. It doesn't have any uh, sugars in it, so it's not going to kick you out of ketosis. It's made with stevia and a bunch of other ingredients. Um, I will put that there. Those are the ingredients. If you can see, you can also go to the website and see them. I happen to pick this up at my grocery store. Um, there's an Albertsons that I frequent that's up the street from where I live. And so I go there and look for new keto items all the time. They just started distributing in Southern California. So this is the first time I've seen killer creamery in my grocery store and I was super excited about it. Um, the ice cream that I'm going to be comparing it to is the new keto line from Enlightened. Enlightened already has um, pretty low sugar healthy um, ice creams but they haven't had any ice creams that are keto friendly so this is their keto friendly line. Um, so this is also a peanut butter fudge, so peanut butter and chocolate kind, so that I could compare the two flavors. Um, here are the ingredients on the back. This is actually one gram net carb, so it is per serving. And the serving is still a half a cup. There's four servings per container, the same as Killer Creamery. So this one actually has less net carbs per serving. Um, the ingredients are different. You can look up the ingredients on enlighten.com and I will make sure to put links in the description below so that you can easily go and read the ingredients for these two ice creams. So that are that is you know the description for these two. I picked them up from the same grocery store and they're similar flavors. So let's get into some of the reviews. So the, the first one I'm going to be tasting is the Enlightened one. I can say that off the bat, this one was creamier. I let both of the cartons uh, sit out for about five minutes. Um, it says to for Enlightened on the cover that comes off the safety seal, it says let sit for five to ten minutes before you actually, you know, start to scoop out and enjoy. And um, I could definitely see that the consistency is creamier. I know it has been sitting for just a few minutes while I've been talking and it hasn't melted that much. So that's the enlightened one. The Killer Creamy Creamery one has a thicker, more dense consistency. Um, it's definitely not as creamy as the enlightened one. It was a little harder to scoop out when I use the ice cream scoop to scoop it into the bowls, this Killer Creamery one was a little, coming out a little more in chunks with the scoop. I was kind of swirling it around trying to get a scoop. Um, and the Enlightened one did not, uh, it didn't have to have as much force behind it for me to get out scoops. So I'm going to taste, this is the first time I'm having these two flavors. I've had enlightened ice cream before, never the keto line and never this uh, flavor. So I'm really excited to try it. Peanut butter and chocolate are my two favorite things to have together. So. Mm. That is really peanut buttery, very, very creamy. It has little chocolate swirls in it. This one's more peanut butter than chocolate. I love peanut butter more than I like chocolate, so I might be a little biased and like this one more than the 
Killer Creamery one. Um, but it is just creamy and smooth. Um, so, so good. Definitely will be buying this one again. Okay, so that was the Enlightened. More peanut butter with a little bit of fudge. So if you're looking for a cho more chocolatey one, maybe Killer Creamery would be for you. Let's try that one out. Okay, so right off the bat, it is pretty soft. It's kind of coming up in chunks, um, but it's still easy to cut through. Let's see how this tastes. So, chunk of peanut butter with some chocolate. Yeah, that's really good. I would say that this one's definitely more chocolate than peanut butter. I like chocolate, but I would say I like peanut butter more. Um, but this definitely has real chunks of peanut butter in it um, when you find them. And this is definitely a dark chocolate taste. It tastes very natural, not processed, very healthy. Yeah. I need to do more ice cream reviews. So good. Okay, so I've eaten both of them. They're both good. I will say that Killer Creamery is made with MCT oil. When I look at the enlightened ingredients, I'm not seeing MCT oil. Um, the sugars in here are monk fruit um, and erythritol for the Enlightened. Looking at the peanut butter one, these sweeteners in here um, are going to be stevia and erythritol. So this one is also made with erythritol. Um, I did see that this one has egg in it. Please read the ingredients if you're allergic to eggs or anything. Um, these are definitely keto friendly and um, vegetarian friendly, but they are not vegan friendly. So, um, but that's okay because keto people are not uh, anywhere near vegan. So that is all for today. Uh, let me know what you think, if there's any other keto ice creams that I should try. Um, I'm always looking for new keto desserts. The biggest thing for me on keto is staying keto and being aware of like what I eat, what I put into my body, staying healthy, trying to stay in ketosis um, while I'm in that ketosis cycle. I do paleo to kick myself out of ketosis you know, after being in ketosis for months, I do try and like, you know, kick myself out of it, take a refresher and then get back into it so my body doesn't get too used to it. But you do not have to sacrifice that much when you're on keto. It is a lifestyle change and it makes a big difference. You will have to do some things that you will need to get used to, but it's not like you're never going to have bread again. It's not like you're never going to have dessert again. Uh, keto has become such a big thing that you can find so many keto products in health food stores and online. Um, so you can go to Vitacost, Thrive Market, even Amazon. Uh, there's plenty of places that you can get keto bread, keto desserts, and now they're even being stocked up in our grocery stores. So you know, keep a lookout, go to killercreamery.com to see what grocery stores they're in, in your area. And same thing with the Enlightened Keto line. Um, this is not a sponsored video at all whatsoever. I paid for these ice creams uh, with my own money. They were about $5 for this size container and there are four servings per container. Another big thing uh, that I want to say before I end this video is never eat out of the carton. 
it's so hard for you to portion things out and for you to actually put that restriction of, okay, I'm only going to have one serving right now. Make sure that you get an ice cream scoop and a bowl and put your serving in the bowl and put the carton back in the freezer. You want to make sure that you're not overdoing it, even though this is low in carbs and, you know, doesn't have any sugar except for, you know, stevia and erythritol, which are sugar substitutes. Um, and it's healthy for you. It's still not great to uh, eat a whole carton in one sitting or even half the carton, you know, half a cup, enjoy it, enjoy your treat when you deserve it and put the carton away. Okay. So thank you guys for listening. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you know when I post my second video, cause this is the first. All right. Bye-bye for now.